In this video, I'm going to be walking you through all the steps that you'll need to take to create a graphics pack of your own, a really nice, clean, organized graphics pack. So without further ado, let's get into it. So once you search up photopea.com, you will be here at Photopea's website. All you want to do is click on new project. Over here, you can see the dimensions. I'm going to go with 1920 by 1080 for 1080p. I recommend doing that as well. Uh, I would just do a 16-9 aspect ratio, but it's completely up to you. So once you do that, go ahead and hit create. Now once you hit create, you should see something like this, just a blank white canvas. That's exactly what you want to see. So we're going to start out with just making a few effects, which is what you'll be doing with your graphics pack. So I'm just going to zoom out quite a bit and I'm going to make some brush lights. So you'll see what I mean by that in a second. So go ahead and get your brush tool if you want to follow along. I'm just going to resize this by holding alt and right click and dragging to about here. I'm gonna change the color to like red. And if you just left click places, you can see it'll make some spots on the screen. That's exactly what we want. So you could say this is an effect. You can just change the blend mode over here to like color dodge or whatever you want. I'm just gonna leave it on normal. And let's just say you wanna make a few of those for your graphics pack and then, you know, go up here to image adjustments hue and saturation you can change the color of it uh, you could do that a few times but i'm just going to do it twice so you can see here we got these two so what you're going to want to do is rename these to keep it clean so i would do like green spots just try to keep it organized because people don't want to have a hard time finding these things i would be a little bit more specific with these so people know exactly what they are so there we go we got our green spots and our red spots so now we want to make a folder to put these in to make it even more organized. So once you're done with that, go down to the bottom right. You'll see there's a folder icon. If you hover over it, it'll say new folder. Go ahead and click on that. And now it's called folder one. So if you want to double click on that, you can rename it to light spots or whatever it is. I'm just going to drag it up and I'm going to hold control and click on both of these and drag it into the folder. So now you can see the drop down arrow controls when they come out. So now it's even more organized and something else you can do is click on that and right click on it, go to color and you can change the color of it. So if we go with red, it just adds a red little square right here, but it keeps it organized and I like that a lot. So what I recommend doing is hiding both of these. So just hit the eyeball on each of them and it'll make them disappear. I recommend doing that with all the effects so you could just click it again when you want to see them. It just makes it easier to navigate. Um, so you can see here, I accidentally made these light spots on a white background. You probably should have done that on the transparent background like this. So make sure you do that and you'll be good. So now we're just going to make a few more effects so you guys get a better idea of what you're supposed to be doing. So I just searched up nature backgrounds right here and we're just going to get a few backgrounds and put them into the graphics pack. So I'm just going to find one, right click on it and go down to copy image. Go back into your photo P tab and hit control and V or command V if you're on Mac. And here you go. You got your background. So if you hit control alt T, you can resize it by dragging these boxes. I'm just going to do it like this. So we got one background. I'm just going to import a few more. It's completely up to you guys what kind of backgrounds you want to use or if you want to use any at all. So let's just import a few of these. And this isn't exactly me showing you how to like make the effects in the graphics pack. It's just showing you how to make the graphics pack itself. That's a really low quality picture, but oh well. All right, so I got my four pictures right here. We can go ahead and rename these to whatever we want. I could just do one, two, three, four. It's really just preference. And I'm gonna hide all of them. I'm going to make a folder down here. I'll name it nature photos and I'm going to hit control, click all these and drag them into the nature photos folder. And I'm going to change the color of it to green because nature is commonly associated with green. So we're going to go with that. So now you guys have a good idea of how you can make these folders and put things in them. So now that we have the folders and all that out of the way, we can move on to making the cover of it. 
So this just makes the graphics pack look even better and it's just personal preference for me to have them. So what you want to do is go down here to this half circle, which is the new adjustment layer button and find the color fill button. We're going to make this one like a dark gray and we're going to move that above all the folders or sorry, below all the folders so that when they go through all the effects, which I messed up because I used it on a white background, they would see it over the black background. So they would just see like this. Let me do this real quick. If you click new layer, you can make a new transparent layer and now it won't have the white background, which is what it should have been, but I messed up. So now that we got that in there, you see what I mean? The gray background is just always going to be in the back. It just makes it easier to see the effects rather than that. Okay. So have the gray background and then do the same thing. Do another color fill. This is whatever you want. This is just for the cover. We'll just do blue and then we'll just name it like nature, nature pack or something. I don't know. This is just to give you guys an idea of what you should be doing. This is by no means me trying to make an actual good cover because that takes time. I actually might make it green. So double click on this color box right here. That's how you change the color. That actually looks kind of clean. Um, super simple. Let's see if we make it white. Yeah, that's cool. So I'm going to combine these now. And now we got the cover of the graphics back. So I recommend left clicking on this bottom part right here, this gray background and clicking the lock icon. It'll lock it so you can't move it around on accident. Um, so yeah, now we got the cover, the background, all the folders, they're all labeled and color coded. So now we are done. So congratulations. You guys have yourself a graphics pack. Now all you want to do to export is go up to file and save as PSD, save it anywhere on your computer and you're done. So I hope this helped you guys. If it did, you know what to do. Leave a like and subscribe my next video. Look out for it. It's going to be a good one. I'll see you guys there. Peace.